a lot of people will be familiar with the ClickView player, uh, which can be found on the desktop at Quegs. We're going to have a look though at ClickView Online today, because um, there's a, uh, a lot of teaching resources on ClickView Online uh, that are there for people in virtually every subject to have a look at and use. So once you get in there, you've got a number of uh, categories down the left hand side here. Um, you can search from the initial screen by subject uh, and also by level or key stage as well. Uh, and once you've done that, just click on the search button and it will take you to uh, a list of videos that are appropriate to whatever you've searched for. So there's a whole load of stuff there um, and obviously you can search through those uh, videos that are already on there um, so you don't have to worry about creating your own. Obviously quick and easy to use. Uh, there are a lot of feature films on there as well. Um, all listed all have certificates underneath them obviously we need to be aware of that when we're showing any f videos or films to students in class we need to make sure they're appropriate to the age range that we're talking about um, but for now we're going to go back the, one of the main strengths about ClickView uh, is this 24-7 so we're going to have a look at ClickView 24-7 today now 24-7 enables you to access virtually every TV show from the main free channels uh, for the last month uh, and it allows you to save it and to edit it uh, and download it afterwards so that can be really useful if there's a particular program that you want to access so if we search for channels you can see there are all of the channels that are available and we'll have a look so you've got all of those channels that are available uh, TVM radio so we'll have a look for example on this one at BBC One and that should list us by day all of the uh, programs that were shown on BBC One. You can see that goes back to the 29th of January. So we're about a month there. So let's have a look at what was on on Sunday. Now this has been recorded on a Sunday afternoon so you can see that 1.15 is the latest video. You see from the bottom uh, it's now about 20 past 2 on a Sunday afternoon. So we're pretty much up to date with what's been uh, what's been shown throughout the day today if there's a particular part let's, uh, let's say for example we want to download match of the day um, and we can add that to our workspace now you can request an ad free copy obviously on BBC that doesn't matter because there aren't any ads but on the other channels you can request that the um, adverts are edited out of any program you download now that can take up to four days though because the ClickView staff access that and, and take the adverts out themselves so I'm not going to do that I'm just going to add that to my workspace and it will take a few seconds to add it to the workspace the workspace is an area where you can store your videos you get about five gigs worth of storage five gigabytes worth of storage uh, in your workspace so I'm going to go to my workspace now and there's one pending video there hopefully it's just been uploaded to my workspace now um, you can see at the top there I've used 745 megabytes of 5 gigabytes so it'll take a few seconds uh, to upload to my workspace it'll just take a while probably should have chosen a shorter program to be honest but never mind <coughs> in the meantime while that's been uploaded we'll have a look at one or two of the other features that are on click view online you can upload videos you probably saw in the workspace there's a few videos that I've uploaded uh, previously there are professional development resources on there so if you need to watch something or would like to watch something that will help professional development there's all different sorts of uh, talks and programs and documentaries um, all related to teacher professional development you see some subject specific stuff here and year group specific um, lots of different things um, secondary videos obviously applicable to us that's where we were before with all the different subjects in there uh, primary hearing impaired etc etc so there's a whole lot of things that you can access there um, we'll go to workspace see if that video's done yet uh, no not quite there so let's go to playlist playlist is where you can take videos from ClickView and put them into playlists so here's one uh, in great blue peter fashion that I created earlier um, we're doing some BTEC IT uh, business on the wonderful topic of ratio analysis so that was a series of about eight or nine videos that ClickView had on a playlist that I put together uh, obviously to use in class Albert is uh, ClickView's little character uh, and that's where you can search again for the different computers that's where we were when we first came into 
uh, the video where we can search for the topics and the levels and they have them all listed by curriculum area and topic so there's an absolute ton of stuff on ClickView. Let's go back to the workspace and see if that video has uploaded yet. Yes it has, there we go. Okay so now you can edit it online. I found the, the online editor not particularly reliable though but once it's in your workspace um, you can access the video and play it straight from your workspace there. There we go, the video is playing. It usually puts a bit of the um, a little bit before and a little bit after in the video so you may have to just bear that in mind when you're downloading it. Um, but but from your workspace you can click on the video and then it's probably going to start playing again yep it is okay and then once you've got the video there you can click the download link at the bottom so you can down that in mp4 format uh, personally I find it easier to download it as part of the zip file and then edit it offline using Serif Movie Plus or whatever other video editor you've got uh, and then you can take clips out of it and you can edit it down to use particular clips that you want in class that obviously saves you a lot of time searching through videos trying to find particular sections during the video so that's about all there is to it once it's downloaded as I say you can take it you can edit it you can chop it down you can do whatever it is you need to do I'll give you a quick demo of that shortly when the video is downloaded using the software that we've got on the school system. Okay, once the video is downloaded, um, we can go to it in the folder. And we can get either, that's a load of my downloads, don't worry about that. Um, we can right click on it. And we're going to extract the files. <clears throat> Take a few seconds to undo that. Then we're going to open the program that we're going to use to edit the video, which on the source school system we've got Serif Movie Plus. So we're going to open that up just while that's extracting. It's going to take a little while to do that. Okay, within Serif we're going to start a new project and we're going to see if that video is extracted yet not quite yet we're going to wait for it to happen wait for it to extract ok then once it's extracted all we've got to do is just drag the video file onto the import media area in Serif Movie Plus it'll take a few seconds to uh, load that video up and just wait for the picture to come there like that once we've done that we can drag that onto our video track. Now that'll play as is. <clears throat> but we don't want to actually uh, have all of that, we just want the start and match of the day. So we can click on the timeline and just move the handle to where the program starts. Okay, that's where it's going to start. So we just press the scissors there. That'll split it into two sections. And we just click on the bit we don't want, press the delete key, and we've got that ready at the start. So that then goes back to the start of our video. If we then press play, we're straight in at the start of the match of the day. We could do that to the end as well. Let's say we only wanted uh, to go right up to the end. And we search for roughly the end. Click on it as well. And we find the end of the credits and that's where it finishes so we cut it again and delete the bit we don't want that just gives us much of the day without any of the uh, bits at the start or the end once we've done that we can go file and export export it to file and we can just leave those settings on default and finish and then we just need to set a folder for that to go to in this case I'm just going to set that to go into my network drive we'll make a new folder to keep it tidy 
Um, and then we'll save it. And we'll save it into there. It can take a few seconds to export, maybe a little bit more than a few seconds because it's quite a big file. Um, but essentially, you've just got to wait for that to finish, and you've got your program exported that you can then play on any computer that you want to.